Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going over natural gas. In this video we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability for UNG. And we'll go over how we found the models and we'll go over the day-by-day -day probability for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Right here, natural gas is currently down 1.1% on the one hour chart. We start to see a downward, downward pressure heading towards negative MACD. We found somewhat a support of the 50 moving average, but they may fail soon. As for the one hour chart, four, four hour chart, we found support on the 18 moving average, this purple line, and we found somewhat of a resistance around the 50 moving average. So if we extend out to the daily chart, we start to see a convergence or a possible reversal and trend. And over the last week, we see a convergence on the four, our daily MACD. And right now we start to see a resistance on the 18 day moving average, this purple line. And if we were to continue up higher, I do see a possible resistance around the price of $2.25. Reason why we see that as our past support. And since we are below the price support level, that now act as our resistance. And as for support, if we extend out a little bit, we see a price concentration that dated back to around August 8th, 2019 at the price of $2.11. And that also coincides with this year's support around that same price. So if we were to move up higher, that price movement is roughly around, let's see, it is around 3.5% to the upside and to the downside. It is around 2.8% to the downside. So back to the forecast model or day by day probability model. So as the day progresses, we start to see a 50% chance to the upside between four to 5% to the upside. On the other hand, to zero to 4% down, we see 17%. And on the extreme case, 5 to 9% down, we see a 17% chance again. And however, if on the upside, we also see another extreme case, 17% from 5 to 10%. In favor, there is a higher possibility. We may head higher in the next coming days as opposed to uh, between these standard deviation, we have 67% as opposed to 33% or 34% to the lower standard deviation. So back to the technical, or I should say forecast model for natural gas. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend. And below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to July 7th to September 30th, 2010. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the beginning of the trend, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band. And we proceeded to make a reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band at this instance. However, we do continue to the downside, averaging below the middle Bollinger Band at this instance. And next, we see a revert, slowly revert back to the mean, or back to the middle Bollinger Band at this instance towards the end. And below in the trend in question, we start to see a similar pattern as well. Start off in the middle Bollinger Band and then we see a reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band, right, or I should say, yeah, right towards here. And after that, we see it trend down, aver averaging below the middle Bollinger Band at this segment. And finally, right towards the end, we see it re revert back to the mean as well at the end. So what we have is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. 
So there's reason to believe if the transit patterns are the same, the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was July 7th to September 30th, 2010. Back then, natural gas continued to fall around 7.4%. So that is according to the day-by-day -day probability model. That is one of the extreme cases, the 17% that we fall 7% and that coincides with this standard deviation. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.